do you aspire to replication at some point in the future? Oh, that's another great question. So at this point, we are so happy to support anybody. So send me an email if you want to start a center, if you want to start a school. I, we are here for you. Andrea was a founding member of a Discord server for self-directed education facilitators. So mm. if you need that information, please send me an email. I will get it to you. We don't want to replicate us mm. because it takes so much just for us to run Embark Center. Mm -hmm. it, it feels overwhelming to start another one right now. And the other thing that's really interesting is if we were to do it within our nonprofit, within the umbrella of that, it would push our revenue over a certain number and then we would be audited by the IRS. And we don't <laughs> want to go through the auditing process. <laughs> right, right, right. That's a lot. But we do have other centers like us. We used to be part of the Liberated Learners Network. Okay. And so I know that Raritan and Princeton and other one that I forgot, they were all, they're under an umbrella. So mm. they have to do the, the nonprofit auditing. So mm. we would okay. like to not do that, yeah. but we're here to support you. So if, if this is something you want to do, we, we would love to help. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Um, so liberated learners, um, have, you know, is sort of a network of, of centers. Arrow has resources for starting things. Yes. Agile learning centers is one that that has resources and, and is willing to share. Those are the ones that come to mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not and sure when I was models, working but... with the Sudbury schools, they right. were also really, really helpful too. Yeah, I, right. I bought that Sudbury school startup kit, right. and which was great, but the actual centers, the actual schools, the ones that I reached out to, they were very, very generous with their time and and talking to me about what their experience was starting their school. So yeah. I think this is a really supportive community and I'm excited to see like Alliance for Self-Directed Education right. and more and more people coming together to support each other. And the Discord server that I was talking about for self-directed educator facilita facilitators, that's a wonderful place just to be with other people to talk about, hey, this kind of came up at our center and, mm -hmm. and how did you guys navigate it? Did you ever have something like this happen? And it's so it's a place where we can all care for each other and support each other. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.